We'll enjoy it while we can. Dan, thank you. An amazing gift for a Williams County man. The community has come together to once again help brighten the world of Benjamin Murray. 13 Action News reporter Lisa Guyton has been following Benjamin's story for years. She joins us live. Oh, Christian and Lee, Benjamin Murray lives in Bryant. He was born legally blind, and for decades he saw the world through what he calls a foggy lens. But that has all changed thanks to technology and the generosity of the community. Benjamin Murray has a condition called optic nerve atrophy. He says quite simply, it makes everything around him blurry. You standing in front of me, I see nothing. I know who you are because we've spoke enough. I don't, I can't see you, period. I can't see Sam behind the camera. I can't see the detail around me. Benjamin's world started coming into focus in 2016 when he got his first pair of electronic eyewear known as eSight glasses. So just how does the technology work? According to eSight, a high-speed, high-definition camera captures continuous video of what you're looking at. Smart algorithms then optimize and enhance the footage and share it on two HD screens. From there, your brain synthesizes the image to fill any gaps in your vision, helping you see clearly in real time. When you go from not being able to see to seeing for the first time, it was, it was like this... All these pent-up emotions just exploded. After that first pair of glasses, Benjamin got an updated version a few years later. And last month, he got his third pair. He says he ran to meet the delivery driver and told her how important the package was to him. You're giving me my life back, and she's, it was just an emotional experience for both of us. So, I mean, I made her day. Benjamin says he's seen a world of difference with the latest version. This new one now has an improved camera, uh, image stabilization. I can, I can be a passenger in a vehicle and read license plates. Benjamin has been able to get his eSight glasses thanks to the kindness of the community. Thousands of dollars have been raised to help him buy all three sets of glasses. The word thank you seems so generic. I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to uh, put into words what this all means to me how to thank everybody. Matt Keck is a good friend of Benjamin's and fellow member of the Brian Lyons Club. I'm happy. I'm so happy deep in me. I'm so happy he got that gift from the people. You can see for yourself that this story is a great example of the true meaning of community. I have dreams. You know, I have goals. I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm only adding to that every day now that I have this. More than a dozen Lions Clubs donated to help Benjamin get those Eastside glasses. The latest model had a price tag of about $4,000. Small price to pay for that huge gift. Christian? Lisa, thank you. What an incredible story. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Lisa, following Benjamin's journey over the years, and his whole world comes alive with that, especially this third set of glasses. I love it. Amazing.